Well, he, just like last Friday night, he, you know, um, when we break down, he made a couple huge saves at key point, points right. of the game. I mean, that's, you know, that's what changes the momentum. That's something we've been missing consistently throughout the year, you know. So he's done it two starts in a row, and hopefully he can continue it. Too many, you know, too many kills. But, uh, no, I thought that uh, the guys that, uh, you know, the guys that we use on the penalty kill were extremely good tonight, Riley and – uh, Billy Mayday, you know, Tynan, Rust. I mean, there, uh, there's several guys that do a great job. And then on the back end, you know, Johns and Tacker and our top four defensemen, you know, they're all involved. But you got to have goaltending too. So, I mean, it's a f it is uh, five guys, even though you're outnumbered in the zone, or you, you shouldn't be outnumbered in the zone. It should be five on five. But the goalie makes the balance out. Against Corey Snyder, and Snyder wins the draw into the right corner, but Varan takes the puck away. Yeah, I mean, a centering feed. You, know, it's, he you know, I I went into this with the idea that he would be our guy, and uh, you know, just based on how he played last week, and you know, he's played well in the second half for us. Had a couple bumps, but you know, we're the playoffs now, and it's a lot easier to go with one guy and roll with him. Well, I think, the, hey, the guys know, you know, I mean, they've had plenty of examples of, you know, mistakes to make, and we made a few tonight yet still. I mean, you know, we have to minute, we have to eliminate the penalties because that will be the finish of our season if we don't, you know. But, um, you know, we just have to make sure that we're playing consistently, and as long as the officials are consistent then, and we play with more discipline, then we'll be better for it. Well, I mean, anytime you kill a major, it's huge, you know, especially at the end of a period like that, because then you're talking, you know, the danger of giving up a goal in the last or first minute of a period, which is also a momentum type situation. And then, you know, but I mean, the kids did a great job and, you know, my hat's off to them for that, you know, the penalty kill effort tonight and the power play scored another goal again. So, you know, as long as we're getting, you know, and we're a plus one for the night on special teams, that's a positive. Yeah, I mean, at, I, at times I thought we did. I mean, you know, I, I, I think that uh, Ohio State put in a good effort, though. I mean, you know, they were working pretty hard, too. You know, at this point in the season, I would expect that, uh, you know, both teams are going to give their best their best effort. What was your view of that, that first goal? It looked like a weird one. Um, I, did, I couldn't. I haven't seen it, so it's hard for me to evaluate. I know Billy said it went off his shin pad, so. Well, getting the first goal is huge, you know, but we've been talking all along. You know, we shoot the puck wide too much. We don't shoot enough sometimes. And when you get pucks to the net, good things happen. You know, if they go off shin pads, that's fine as long as they go in. I feel like any time, like I said last week, you get a shutout, direct result of, you know, the guys in front of you blocking shots. And I think, um, you know, they blocked probably the most shots I've had um, all year. So, you know, there was, uh, they were doing a good job letting me see pucks and just, you know, letting me make routine saves and just watching pucks into my glove and chest. So... Um, they made my job pretty easy tonight. Right, three on two. Snyder over the line. Center of the zone takes a long the right corner of the Irish zone by Shahura. Here's a centering feed. Christopheli from the right circle. Getting a pass to the center circle. No, nothing's changed too much. Uh, takes a quick snap shot. The game is a rough start. Defensively, and a couple of goals from Moran and Mayday. You know, Snyder enters the Irish. It probably gave me a little fire to you know come back and show and prove to coach and everyone else you know that I should be playing. What kind of yeah, no, it was uh it wasn't so much a shutout, it was just everyone was making um, big key plays out there. You know, we scored the first goal and then I made a big save in the second and then John's had a shift where I think he hit every single person on the ice. So, you know, everyone was doing little things, um, you know, working hard that got the team going and uh, you know, I think that's going to carry on over the next game, and uh, you know they're not going to want to play us like they're going to see. If we come out and play the same way we do um, tomorrow, the way we did tonight, um, you know they're, they're going to be in for a long night. You make that save in the second period, and I think it was just Steven and Jack Costello were both just <laughs> running around destroying it. What, what's it like just to feel that kind of 
yeah, it's, energy. Yeah, it's good. I mean, when you make a big save, it's the whole entire crowd and the bench is going. And, you know, I think Johns and a couple other guys were yelling at me from the ice. Like, so, I mean, it's, it's a good feeling. And it, you know, it gives you more confidence for the rest of the game. But, I mean, it's just like anybody else making a big hit or, you know, scoring a goal or killing off a big penalty. So, there was everyone was going tonight. How the penalty kill look in front of you tonight? <laughs> it was unbelievable. I mean, I think they only had three or four shots on the power play. And, you know, everyone from, you know, a defense perspective and forwards, they were, you know, we were trapping pucks down low on the penalty kill and we had great breakouts and chips and dinks to get the pucks out and made my job, like I said, really, I didn't have to do too much on the power play. Yeah, I think it's a little bit the bounces. I think uh, the important thing is just continue, continuing to work hard. And I've been playing with David Gerson, Mike Varan, and we've been generating a lot playing against other teams' third lines. And I think, you know, we just try to, help out our top two lines as much as we can and uh, you know we, we bring the work ethic every day and you know now the bounces are starting to show and we're generating a lot of chances. What happened on that first goal? Uh, on the first goal their, their D were standing up on the blue line so I just ripped the puck off the boards and I saw Mike Varan going to get it and uh, he threw it at the net He's hit off my shin pad and, and you know circle. we get a lucky Shot. bounce. Pass, rebound. Scars! Mayday! Yeah. Mayday! Mayday! Yeah, I I felt something on my shin pad, so I just I <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, what uh, it looked like even after you guys had a goal or, or even a two goal lead, you stayed a little bit more aggressive than you have been in the past month with the lead. You kind of kept the pressure on. Is that a focus going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's something we've really tried to work on all all season. We haven't re- really been able to do that. We kind of get comfortable once we once we get a lead, and uh, you know I think it really helps when we when we stay aggressive and, and stay on top of them and maintain our, our, our system. And I think, uh, you know, as Summer Hayes was saying earlier, it's, it, it takes little things like, like hits, saves, to keep the team involved and, and the bench involved. And I think, uh, you know, everyone was positive tonight and that really helped. Yeah, I'll stand in front of the net all day and take those, um, you know, that, We've been working on our power play a lot and, you know, we've had good movement and, uh, you know, traffic in front of a goalie is going to create problems all day. So great shot by Russo. Anders tipped it actually off the goalie's pad and it went right to me. So um, not too much to do there. What really is the biggest difference in this team now to win two tight games in the last three compared to a month ago where it was couldn't find a goal and couldn't win those kind of games? Well, I think... Uh, I think it's the way we start games and being able to sustain the same momentum for longer periods of time. I think scoring a, f- a first goal is is something that our team, I think, needs. And, um, you know, we've been able to do that recently. And first uh, round series, you know, I think we've matured a little bit. Tonight, aside from that, I think we recognize that these the games Compton, are really important. And our team responds to pressure pretty well.